Okay, we can use algebra to figure out um, units of measurement that certain things represent. For instance, down here it says, in 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. began his famous I Have a Dream speech with the words, five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic sh shadow we stand signed the Emancipation Proclamation. The proclamation was signed by President Abraham Lincoln in 1863. So Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was making his speech in 1963. The Emancipation Proclamation was signed in 1863. But how long is a score? He said five score years ago. So we're going to let S represent the quantity of a score. So S is the number of years in a score. Not score as in score a goal, score as in like a number of years. Um, calculate the quantity in years after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. So 1963 minus 1863 and you get 100. And then because of the clues from the information, five score years equals 100. So I def just divide both sides by five and a score is 20 years. Okay. Um, Gettysburg Address uses four score and seven years ago, so that would be 87 years because the score is 20, um, etc. Okay, so let's go to page eight, and here's another example. An airplane descends in an altitude, in altitude, from 20,000 to 10,000 feet. A gauge at radar traffic control reads that the airplane's altitude drops 1.8939 miles. And how many feet is in a mile? Okay, so we've dropped from 20,000 to 10,000 feet. Okay, so, and then radar traffic control says that that's equivalent to 1.8939 miles. Okay, so let M represent the quantity in feet represented by a mile. So I'm going to make one little change just because I'm a science person. In science, when we mean miles, we typically say M-I because in science, a plain old M usually stands for meter. So I'm going to make that one change. Calculate the quantity in feet. Well, that's 20,000 minus 10,000 feet. The change is up here. It's for a change of 10,000 feet. And the gauge says that that quantity is 1.8939 miles. So again, 1.8939, and I'm going to put mi, remember. That is equivalent to the 10,000 feet. Okay. Then I'm going to use the division property of equality. 1.8939 miles. Divide both sides by 1.8939 so that over here you'll wind up with just one mile. Over here, again, divide by 1.8939. And when you crunch those numbers, 10,000 divided by 1.8939, you get that one mile is approximately equal to 5,200 and 80 feet. Okay. All right. A couple more examples. An ostrich that's 108 inches tall is 20 inches taller than four times the height of a kiwi. What is the height of a kiwi in inches? Okay. An ostrich that's 108 inches tall is, is means equals, so 108 inches is 20 inches taller than four times the height of a kiwi. So whatever four times the height of a kiwi is, four, I'll use K for kiwi, uh, plus 20. Okay, so an ostrich that's 108 inches is 20 inches taller, so plus 20, 20 inches taller than four times the height of a kiwi, four kiwi plus 20 is 108. And then all you really have to do is minus 20 to both sides. 
that would be 88. That's equal to 4k. Divide both sides by 4. 88 divided by 4 is 22. So 22, I guess inches, is the height of your kiwi. And a kiwi is a little bird, um, not the kiwi fruit. An emu that measures 60 inches in height is 70 inches less than five times the height of a kakapo. I don't know what that is. Okay, an emu is 60 inches. 60 inches is 70 inches less than five times a kakapo. So an emu is 70 inches less than five times a kakapo. So plus 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 70 to both sides. That's going to be 130 equals 5. Oops, 5k divided by 5 divided by 5. And that is 26, I think. 26. We'll go with that. Okay. And that's the height of a kakapo, whatever the heck that is. Okay, so that should do it for lesson one of module one.